So I have on page 23, we did some introduction to factoring, and I've discovered that some people need a review of prime numbers. So let's just go through what does that mean. So let's put on page 25, review of prime numbers. And in doing this, we're going to find a couple of different ways to factor prime numbers, meaning to break numbers into their parts and come down to just their prime numbers. First, we need a definition. So, the definition of a prime number. It's a whole number. Greater than 1. There's only two factors. are one in itself. So let's think about that with a hundred chart. I have to think about it with a, a number, a whole number, or a hundred chart. Which of these numbers might be prime? Well, let's start with the number one, because it's what we call special. The only way I can multiply and get one is 1 times 1. Okay, well 1 times 1 is true, but it says this has two factors that are 1 and itself, and 1 only has factors of 1. So it's what we call a special number. We're going to color that in with a certain, any color that you want to choose. That That's the only one you'll color that color. It's what we call special. One stands out all by itself. And now let's look through the hundreds chart and see can we find some other numbers that are also prime, where the only way I can multiply and get it is one times it. Well, we've got one times two. Is there any other way to multiply and get two? Nope, two times one, but one times two and two times one are the same two numbers. So it only has two factors, one in itself. I'm going to use a different color to highlight that one. I'm afraid my green's going to color it in too much, so I'm going to just do that. What about 1 times 3? Any other way to find 3? Nope, 3 is also a prime number. What about 4? Well, we know we can do 1 times 4, but we can also do 2 times 2 to get 4. So that means it's not prime it's going to get what we call a composite number, where it can be made up more than one way. Okay, what about the number 5? I can only get 5 by multiplying 1 times 5 or 5 times 1. So it is prime. Let's make a little key up here. For me, a box in green equals prime. A box in purple is what we call composite. It's made up of more than one way to multiply and get it. And then I used this for my special number one. It's not prime or composite. So let's keep going. Can I do something besides one times six to get 6, yes, I can do 2 times 3. That means it's composite. What about 7? The only whole numbers I can multiply to get 7 are 1 times 7, prime. Eight. Well, 1 times 8, obviously, but I can also use 2 times 4. It's composite. Oops, and I almost used my prime number color. Be really careful when you're doing this. Okay, now here's where people start to think that only odd numbers are prime because we've got 7, 5, 3, but 2 is even. So it doesn't mean that all odd numbers are prime. 2 is an even number, 
this is odd, this is odd, this is odd. We're getting to nine and it's odd. And so people tend to want to make it composite, but I mean prime, but it's composite because we can also do three times three and one times nine. So I'm going to let you continue, and if you're not sure, what you can do is put a dot in the corner of your color if you want to check with me later before you highlight it completely. I'm going to let you and a partner continue working on this and see if you can come up with, between the numbers of 1 through 100, which ones are prime and which ones are composite. You won't use this one again because only one has just one as its factors.